Hello and welcome. Jumpy coming at you once again with some more Paper Sorcerer. Let's jump straight into it. In this video we're going to explore the sanctuary and we're going to move on to cell block 2, level 1. So in the last video, at the, right at the end, we managed to freeze up the whole game with the merchant. Uh, we couldn't click on anything or do anything so I had to Alt F4 to quit the game. Since then I have replayed the game to get back up to this part, but I won't talk to the merchant yet. I did manage to accidentally click on the strange old house, and it turns out that this is where the orb of light that we found in the last level goes. It's the soul of the dead, and we need to find the soul of the one soul of the dead in every level, and that will unlock the catacombs levels, which are which sounds like it's like hardcore or loot grinding or something like that. So I will probably check that out in a later video. We can talk. I, this is all new to me so this is probably talking to the spirit of Sanctuary. Let's find out. Oh, I guess we can talk to anybody. Sometimes when the guys get bored they play some kind of weird game with a snake. What? What a demon. The Overseer of Block 2 is Gylex the Decimator, supposedly because he'll chop you into tents. <laughs> it didn't seem too impressive to me though. Maybe you should try having a bit more finesse. Alright. So maybe he does like a tenth of your health per attack or something? Uh, let's have a look at our room. No, I guess it's, yeah, it's definitely a room, that's for sure. We can loot our room, I guess. This is weird. I wonder, uh, that's probably health regen. Uh, and it would also appear that all the loot in the game is randomized, so if you notice that our equipment is a little different than last time, that's because we have found different equipment. So we have a iron dagger here. We've only got the shameful iron axe this time. But we have a steel katar and our troll assassin. We can check out our arms and armory, yeah. So we don't have much in the way of the weapons that we found last time. But we did find a lot more money, uh, especially. What was I gonna say? We did find a pearl in that end, or just before the fall. Uh, I haven't tried going back into the merchant yet, just in case he freezes the game again. And now we have this gem of recall, which we can use to travel back to Sanctuary at any time. The man. Old man in the strange house also gave us a black gem, but I think that's just a passive thing. I think it's just like a, hey, you can now use this to bring souls back. So let's try resting. I guess that restores us all back to max health and energy. Let's head back out. So heading back into our room, it probably will be now empty. Yes, okay. We've got the skill trainer. In train music, can you realize your full potential for a price? Choose a character, I guess. That's how he cost gems. And give it a try. Oh, jeez. I've got a lot of training to do. We could increase agility. I hope it doesn't just spend the money immediately. No, there we go. Okay, so we can. I guess it would. Each first level costs 200 gems, and then the more you spend it, the higher the price gets. But it doesn't look like it's training their skills, it looks like it's training abilities more like. So with all that out of the way, let's head back to the map and let's head on to cell block 2 level 1. It's nice quick load times in this game. I see something there but it's probably just a graphical glitch. We have got a corridor. Investigate. So I always go to the left hand path first. Oh, okay. No door opening animation for that one. Who needs them anyway? Door opening animations are. Ah, see, that's like a. Oh, there's. That's using the color scheme of this game in a good way. I like that. Where it's like, oh, it's just the corner of the room, but then you go and it's got some hidden loot. I think it's just a graphical glitch down there. I've got some more gems and a mop. So where we found that longsword before, instead in this game, in this playthrough, I got a mop. So that's how I know the 
loose is randomly generated. Alright, so it opens up. I wonder what happens if we go the other way. It might take us just... Oh. Okay. Hello again. Uh, it looks like this is a smaller self-contained room. Let's go into a fight, shall we? Alright, so it's starting to get a little tougher, it looks like. That was the more the tutorial level that we did already. Let's take out Man at Arms with a troll. The Minotaur can... So we've got the Bull Rush, which does damage to everybody, but not much. I think again, uh, we, as we get the higher strength, it'll start doing more damage. But you also have this Wild Swing, which also hits everybody, and it seems to hit them for quite a lot. It seems quite significant. Now we now have Bait, so we can... So I guess that's a Taunt, which you can make them attack the Minotaur, which is nice. And the Sorcerer, we... I now have Frost Ball, but I think we had that anyway. Now we can break this dude. That wasn't a Katar that he was holding. I just thought I had a dagger. So this should deal with, yeah. Oh, uh, it's not as significant as I thought it was. Ah, it increases his HP as well. And his defense. Alright, these guys are a bit tough. So maybe they'll attack him from next round. Maybe he doesn't count the first round. We got the witch uh, can. It's phantom grasp with the man at arms. This man at arms has to be close to dying. And always black bolt because why not? It only costs two energy, and we can get back one each turn, so we can use it four times before we need to recharge. And Minotaur, I'll just get him to attack as well. He's already taunting, so. 10 HP, no, no critical, not quite. Our defenses are all holding up nicely. Dead dwarf, there we go. Alright, and the last round, there we go, now they're attacking the Minotaur. Let's just attack. We should be able to take everybody out with this round. That was a Katar there. 48 HP, jeez Louise. Yeah, the troll has a high crit chance. I guess the sorcerer and the witch is not really much point to just melee attacking with them, but the Minotaur was enough to take them out. I mean, if the, we've got a... Okay, definitely giving that to the Minotaur. And we now have a Scorch spell with our sorcerer. Alright, let's give this guy higher strength. His strength is now... What do we have? She's magic 12, we're magic 11. He's strength 15. And the troll, he's got, he's got lower agility than I thought he was, but he's got that high crit chance. Alright, let's loot some more things off this table. an iron guitar and a water of life which seems to be mass healing which is nice. I wonder if these maps are generated or uh, randomly generated. The first level wasn't but maybe from the first it all is. Oh, what's this guy? He looks interesting. Let's try a bull rush shall we? We can do a phantom grasp. He's just a fighter. And we can do material slice. Woohoo. And we now have Scorch. So it uh, gives them a damage over time. Alright, let's find out. Oh yeah, 14 damage. It's fine. <laughs> uh, so the troll doesn't have the best agility yet, so probably better to just attack. Ouch. I guess he just toughened himself. We can... Let's use bait on the Minotaur, because that's what the Minotaur is here for. I think break is based on energy. 
That's what it said at least. But I think I might have misread it and maybe it's a different ability. Minotaur can... No, I right clicked but it used Blood Rage I guess. It's fine. There we go, there's enough damage. Everybody's just buffing up. One generally three strength, which is nice. Ouch. Uh, which uh, I'll just get you to focus. Minotaur can. Yeah, let's do it. Wild swing. Control, let's break. Let's break fighter. And sorcerer, let's try out this scorch on the dwarven fighter. Probably gonna waste it, but whatever. We'll see how this damage goes. 12. It's fine. We can even use the witch to bring the Minotaur's defense back. And that was a lot of damage. Minotaur. Let's just swing at him. Let the witch to heal the Minotaur. I'll just attack with the troll and I'll just attack with the sorcerer. I think I want to upgrade the sorcerer's weapon. I think I picked up that iron guitar a couple of rooms back. Nice health, nice chunk of health back. 34 HP. Damn, troll. Alright, let's take him out. 17. 50 damage! This fighter has a lot of health. I thought we'd just easily take him out this round. Weapon. Which pepperonis? Um. What do we do? I can't. Or we could. I just black bolt him. Or attack him with the troll, or attack him with the minotaur. He can't have much health left. This, is, this guy has more health than the first boss. It's fine. 56 HP. Okay, thank goodness. He had like 200 health. That's a bit. There's a steel longsword. Nice. Uh, protects the party from fire and ice. Raises critical chance for the troll. Alright, let's equip. Sorcerer. Let's give you a sword instead. And we can give you the... No, I'll unequip the rune from you. I'll give a rune to our assassin. That's fine. So the assassin... He doesn't show his crit chance. Plus one magic. And I still have no better equipment. All right, and so let's heal up our witch, shall we? Where is it? We have restoration crystal. Use on our witch. All right. Is she full health? Nice. Uh, now that she's alive, we can use her skills and heal our troll and quick heal the mentor. That's fine. The way this room is laid out makes it. Oh, that feels like a trap. Oh no, it's just rings on the wall. <laughs> Storage. Oh, it's a button. Anything? No. Uh, 
Nothing is, doesn't look like anything's changed right here. Oh, that I didn't, don't think this was here before. This looks like a little hidden cache. Ah, there we go, the Mace Rings is a bit off. Hint, hint. Healing Potion. Warhammer, a little cape. Chainmail Armor, 33 defense. I wonder who can put that on. No. 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 Nobody. Well, what else do we find? We also found the... Oh, the cape. That's it. And a couple of healing potions, which we might use one of. But let's get in this fight. I'm of the mind that consumables are made to be consumed, so I don't mind using potions just for little buffs. That's what they're here for. Alright, we can troll, we can... I swear the troll got an ability. Maybe it's just a passive whose critical hit chance is increased. Uh, we can... Break one of these squires. Let's focus. Let's use. We can't heal yet, so we can just focus. Minotaur, I'll get you to wild swing, shall we? Not being able to be enough to kill him. Yes. All right, that puts us back up to four energy. So up to three, we should be up to four next turn. And crunch. That's a dead squire. Ooh, very scary. Hopefully this dwarf survives until the witch can use her healing. Uh, let's heal up the troll this time. I don't think he will. Unless we just low roll everything. 44 HP, there we go. Not even close. Magic plus 4. Sick. So she gets... Oh hey, this is my go. Mage armor, so this is increases defense level 1. I think that's just a passive. Let's have a look. Skills, Sorcerer. Oh no. Uh, but we can equip our witch with magic room. 18 magic, jeez. And then we'll continue on to the next one. Jeez, these levels are a lot larger than in the first level. Uh, we can poison him. We can scorch. And we can hit him with a big ol' axe. Let's see, 4 of 18 defense, jeez. Hopefully we remove his armor quickly enough. So we've poisoned him and we're burning him as well. That does a chunk of damage too. This guy has what, 200 health or something? Uh, can we drown rush? Yes. Let's hit this guy. This blood rage, shall we? We will heal up the Minotaur. And we can give this guy the long sword and the strength room. So, no, we didn't give him the strength room. We gave that to the troll instead. Let's just buff up. Double swing the Minotaur, nice. Yeah, it's not too much damage. Uh, it didn't look like he took any... Oh, there he's taking the damage now. 27. 19, nice. 
13. She's fine. And <laughs> 6. Uh, she can heal. You can heal a Minotaur. Let's use Brutal Strike. Just to use some of his energy. We can Arterial Slice. And let's just hit him with the Black Bolt again. Minotaur, 27 HP. Nice. Smack him! Smack that, 26 HP. There we go. And we've got a healing potion. Check out this room. Steel Warhammer. Can I equip that on my sorcerer? I don't think the sorcerer would be the only one I can equip it to if, if that. Weird that the Minotaur can't equip it. A sash. Nothing odd about this bird. We got another room. We got some gems. Another bag of marbles. We got some more gems. A turquoise. Nice. That's worth about a hundred gems, I think. And the third guard. I because I assume these are guard barracks. We have twelve defense robes. Nice. That's good for magic containment devices. Rites and rituals required to make an extra dimensional prison. They're almost exclusively. Beans of great power. Yeah, we are great power. A bag of marbles and a chest. Nice. Uh, so we can equip. I'm going to equip that robe to the witch, I think, actually. Just so that she can survive through any sort of damage at all, rather than dying in one hit. I mean, as long as she's alive, she can heal the Minotaur back up. And make them all attack the Minotaur. Okay, so here's the end of the level. And with that, I think we'll leave it for this video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. Where we will explore level 2 and 3 of the second floor. In my description, you can find links to my Twitch and Twitter. Where I stream every weekday and most weekends. And uh, see you in the next video.